Dr. Raymond Sekula, Professor of Neurological Surgery at New York Presbyterian Hospital, Columbia University Irving Medical Center at 710 168th Street in New York. I'm delighted to be here. I've just joined the department and we've built a comprehensive program for patients with facial pain, throat pain, facial spasms, and I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about glossopharyngeal neuralgia, which is a relatively rare condition, but extremely debilitating. And I'll tell you about two patients. One was a man that came to me and for probably a year, he had had an actual feeding tube placed because he couldn't eat. Every time he took a bite of food, he had so much pain, at times he would actually pass out. And he went undiagnosed until he was referred by a really knowledgeable internal medicine doctor who recognized that this was probably glossopharyngeal neuralgia. And you know, the rewarding part about doing an operation for an individual like that is the morning after surgery, his pain was gone. And we were able to get the feeding tube out of him with just in just a few weeks, and he's done well. I've continued to follow him. Another, another patient with glossopharyngeal neuralgia was another man that, was, that went undiagnosed, but fortunately he was dating or his partner was a nurse and actually she dated him. He'd seen something like 20 physicians. No one knew what it was. He came to us. It was pretty clear that it was glossopharyngeal neuralgia, but you can't really in any way blame the physicians because it's so rare that it's just not seen very often. So it's, it's easily missed. It's also sometimes confused with other disorders. So you can have pain in your throat due to benign or malignant tumors. And so patients with this condition really need to be seen by an exceptional uh, ear, nose, and throat physician who can rule out those kind of conditions. And here at New York Presbyterian, we have outstanding uh, otolaryngologists who can, who can support us and help us in the management of these patients. But generally speaking, uh, these patients do extremely well with microvascular decompression. Despite what you, what you might read, I've never needed to cut a patient's glossopharyngeal nerve to get rid of pain. Um, and the, the big thing about them is really understanding the condition, understanding what the symptoms are. It's usually a deep shocking pain to the back of the tongue and the throat. It feels like you're being electrocuted and it radiates to the ear. Um, Patients say that it's just it, the patient, the, the pain will bring you to your knees. There's been patients that are in the hospital on a monitor, and just because of the way the glossopharyngeal nerve works with the vagus nerve and the brain stem, when they have a pain attack, you'll actually see their heart rate drop from a pain attack because of the connections in the brain stem. Uh, but the good news is that we're here to help you. Please call my office and we're delighted to see you.